I'm me. You're you. This is our school knows the Dolphin Daily starts now. It's TGIF on Riffles. We're, we've almost made it. Let's finish the week strong with a great behavior and lots of learning. Today is Chocolate Mint Day, and we are reminded of the awesomeness of Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies. Did you know Girl Scout cookies have been around for almost 100 years? They were, the fir they were first made in Oklahoma as a service project or fundraiser for troop activities, and they were originally baked by moms, moms of Girl Scouts. Today is a completely different thing, with millions upon millions of boxes being sold to friends, neighbors, and in front of grocery stores and even on the line. What's your favorite flavor of Girl Scout cookies? My personal, my personally, I personally like the chocolate chip cookie. And I always look forward for the time of when Girl Scout cookies um. Girl Scout cookies are re relatedly, I mean, re readily available. All, all right. Now let's get to the news. Ripples, we have some exciting news for our social studies department. Next week, a team of eight Fort Myers Middle Academy students will travel to the east coast of Florida to compete in a National History Bee. Students will be the first to buzz in with the correct. Students will be competing, competing. Head it head to head to be the first to buzz in with correct answers to, to questions about American and world history. Our representatives include Janara Lester, Kristen Richard, Darius Webb, Adam Carno Carmono, Adria Alisono, Brendan Dick, Eswa Tauber, and Laurie Lauren Lee. These students have been working with their social studies teachers to prepare for the regional competition is February 23rd, and we wish these ripples good luck and good memories. Thank you for representing us. Good luck. While we're talking about academics, did you know that we have our own math team? Uh, Mr. Betts has a crew of mathematicians that, are, that get together and do all kinds of math stuff. Currently, they are working on proposals and displays the and the bullet boards all around the school if you love math or even get interested in getting involved check out with mr betts about math team he is in d26 in dance news today miss miss wetberg advanced dance class welcome representatives from cypress lake high school's dance program to conduct a mock a mock audition for the Sisters Dance Program. Our advanced dancers got to take part in this event, with this event, which will help them prepare as they move on to a higher levels of dance education. Thanks, Miss Swedberg, and the folks from Cypress Lake High School for making this happen. Students, we are finally we're in the final stages of collecting artifacts and items. For, from I mean, for Fort Myers Middle, Middle South West Florida Fair booth. If you're one of the students who helped with 3D printing, painting, artwork, written work, timelines, or other fa facets in uh, of our booth of our booth, thank you. Uh, the fair the fair's theme this year is pioneers day, pioneer days to the modern ways. F and F and M A has a used uncommon friend book in circlium as well as historical brew wells home as base bait as the basic for our booth when we refer to the uncommon friends we are talking about thomas edison harvey firestone henry ford alexis carl Carell, charles lynn Lingberg and all the notables have connected to Fort Myers. We have I mean be, we'll be hearing more about them on the Dolphin Daily in the next few days. 
Now before we close to, now before we close our broadcast, let's take a look at today's Black History Month moment. We're looking at the life of Linda O. Newman. Take it away, Dario. I'm Dario reporting today's Black History Month moment. Today we feature Lydia O. Newman. Lydia Newman was born in Ohio in 1885. She was a civil and women's rights activist. She was a hairdresser by a trade and received a patent for an improved model of the hairbrush in 1898. She fought for women's right to vote and worked with many suffrage act activists. Little was known about her adult life, but according to the U.S. Census records, she was a New York City resident by the late 1800s. In 1898, Newman applied for a patent for a new style brush of hair. It was approved November 15, 1898. Her hair brush design included several features for efficiency and hygiene. And that's why Lydia O. Newman is our Black History Month moment for today. I'm Daria reporting for the Dolphin Daily. Back to news desk. Thank you, Daryl. It is continuing continuing to amaze us how, that so many of these items we take for granted were de de developed, or invented, or improved upon Black African I mean Americans, Black Americans. He, he, there is much more to Black History Month than just a discussion about slavery. So this gets. So many gifted and tal talented people con contribute to our lives. That's all for today's edition of the Dolphin Daily. If you're heading to Edison Pageant of the Lights Parade tomorrow evening, be safe and have lots of fun. Take a minute to think about Thomas Edison's contributions to our area. Remember, he's one of the uncommon friends we had mentioned earlier. Have a great weekend and make it a great day or not, the choice is yours.